here to do a couple more examples on centroids. Um, our example four is to find the centroid of the region under the graph of y equals sine x from x equals zero to x equals pi. So it's always good to draw a graph of these things. So there's the graph of y equals sine x. And there's x equals zero and there's x equals pi. And we're trying to find the centroid of that region. Um, first of all, remember that the centroid formulas have an area in them. So we first need to, to find the area of that region. So the area is just the integral from 0 to pi <coughs> of sine x dx. And the integral of sine is cosine x. Evaluate that from x equals 0 to x equals pi. Uh, sorry, the integral of sine is negative cosine x. And so that gives us negative, negative 1 minus 1, which gives us 2 for the area. Now we want to find the two coordinates, the x and y coordinate of the centroid. The x coordinate, if you look at this region, it's completely symmetric around x equals pi over 2. So that has to be the balance point in the x direction. So we know that the x coordinate of the centroid must be pi over 2 just by symmetry. Now we could work out the integral formula, but that would be a lot more work, so I'm going to skip that. Instead we're going to look at the y coordinate of the centroid, and our formula that we have is 1 over 2 times the area, integral from a to b, of f of x squared dx. So that's 1 over 2 times the area. Well, the area we figured out was 2. So this is 1 over 4 times the integral from 0 to pi of sine squared of x dx. And remember what we learned in the section on trigonometric integrals. When you have an even power of sine or cosine, you want to use the half angle formula. So you convert this sine squared of x into 1 half times 1 minus cosine of 2x. And then that's something much easier to integrate. So if I pull that 1 half out, combine it with the 1 fourth, I'll get 1 eighth. And then if I integrate 1, I get x. Integral of cosine of 2x is 1 half sine of 2x. And I'm evaluating this from x equals 0 to x equals pi. So this is 1 eighth. Now if you plug in x equals pi, you get pi. Um, Sine of 2 pi is 0, so that's just minus 0. Plug in x equals 0, we get minus 0. And then the sine of 0 is 0 again. So we just get pi over 8. And that was the y coordinate of the centroid. So if we package those two answers together, x bar, y bar, we get pi over 2, pi over 8 is the balance point of this region.